Spring's, spring's gone. He's shot it out. You shot it out then. Yeah, well, there, it. there you go. You got some new string. Why were you using so much string? But it, when I got it, we had both strings wrapped around the way. That's for a curve shaft. Yeah. Different setup. So, uh, I'm going to say, John, you, you got a valve valve issue. You have no compression. Well, let's see where the hell happened that. Next guy we're going to look at here. <clears throat> it's a pressure washer that was brought over that has no uh, no compression. No, no compression. And uh, we pulled the uh, the valve cover off on this guy here. And uh, if you watch there, we're only getting one valve moving. So uh, we'll see if we can knock that other valve loose. But something smells very funny in here, like almost like antifreeze. And it looks like someone, in an effort to go ahead and try to fix that, changed the oil out as well. But we'll uh, let me just give it a couple, couple attempts here to see if we can loosen it, free it, or find out what, what's going on. Uh, I have a feeling you you lost a, a lobe or something down in there. We'll stitch this. End up stitching this together. This valve was stuck. I managed to unstick it. But that doesn't mean that there's not something else going on. So what I'll do is uh, we'll fire it up now that I am almost certain that I can guarantee that we got compression and uh, go from there. All right, John. Uh, valve was stuck on this. That doesn't mean that the valve's not going to stick again. I don't know why that valve stuck to begin with. Could be from that was sitting. Could be that water's getting inside the unit. Oil looked like it was fresh. That spark plug looks pretty new. I got I will seal it back up. I just I had to pull the valve cover off, and you'll see there that the valve was stuck. I did manage to unstick the valve, and uh, I think that this unit will run for you.